Welcome back guys. In our last video, we saw how we can use Laravel Livewire's new functionality of file upload to upload a banner to our event. We handled the create part of it. We saw how we can um, you know, very easily create a file input field and um, you know, use the Laravel's uh, storage API uh, kind of you know, API for uploading the files. We also saw how we can generate a temporary preview of the image which the user is trying to upload and then we actually did an upload of the file however we haven't handled the edit part of it so if you see we are able to view the image however if i try to make a change something like you now i'm changing the event name and if i try to save it says that the banner field is required and this is happening because let me open up the form class file okay so on submit we have this uh, validation right which is that the banner field is required however on edit the requirement is that i may not uh, want to always upload a new banner i mean i i'm you know as i showed you i just want to upload a new uh, rather change the title right so in that scenario what do we do we are going to refactor the code a little bit to handle the edit part of the event. Okay. So the first thing that I want to do is on submit, I want to detect whether I am doing an edit or a create. Okay. So I'll have a flag. Let's just say edit equals. If I have event, I'll return true else false. So if we have the event object, that means we are doing an edit. And if not, then we are doing a create okay now what i would like to do is take this entire thing and make it an array push it here and we will have a condition which is if dollar edit right then dollar rules banner should be equal to this okay and we get rid of this rule so we have now a conditional validation rule with us where if it's an edit okay or actually no if it is not an edit we will make sure that the banner is required which means when you are creating an event the banner is a mandatory field okay but if you are doing an edit at that point it will not trigger right because edit is true only when the event i mean this event exists right so so yeah that's how we are doing it so we removed the banner from the rules and we made it conditional and then we are passing it to validate rules okay so this is done the next thing is obviously we want to handle the file path thing because we are passing it here let's just say i remove it from here and i directly pass it so i'll get rid of this and now the event thing is again conditional right because we don't want to pass uh, the banner if it's an edit and the banner doesn't exist so what we can do is let's just say we remove this key from event okay we only have these four things and then if we have if this banner very similar to what we did with edit right if we have this banner then dollar event array key will have this okay so what we are saying is that if the banner is uploaded right if if during the edit the banner will have some value during create it will definitely have a value so when we have a value in banner we send it to the event and then in here during the edit right the create is fine i mean the create is uh, not a problem for us however when there is an event we will need to first delete the old image like if you see right now i have one event 
if I refresh this image already exists, which is inside my public storage banners this, right? So this is the image which is already there, but I would like to idly delete it, right? So we need to handle that. So why don't we do one thing? We'll have a function called handle event upload. We'll pass the event in here. Okay. I'll make it a private function, not a public function. And let's just say that if we have dollar event banner, okay, if we have that and this event, okay, which means that the banner exists and it's an edit because the banner will Ex, uh, exist for create as well right so if these two conditions are true then we will do storage delete this event banner i'll need to import the class class is not found oh storage class is imported and then we run this we have this so we are calling this function which gets the event you know, the dollar event which we are creating here it has all the fields and on top of that we are checking whether the banner exists or not if the banner exists we send it okay the create is um completely different because it will get the um, banner key because the banner will exist in here so the create part is handled properly but if we are you know, inside the edit what we do is although i don't actually need this check or do i let me see so the banner will exist for create as well however this function will not be called if I am on create. Okay, let us keep this, uh, let us remove this condition because basically this is fine, right? So, so yeah, we pass the event to this function. That function will first check whether that um, you know, thing exists or not. If the file exists, it will you know, kind of delete it from storage and then it will update the event. So, if I come over here now, if I refresh and let's just say because it's a Laravel conference, why don't we change the banner? Hit save. Let's see. So we have the updated image for sure. Let's see whether the file was deleted or not. Well, it does. I can see that the file name has changed. Previously, we had a different file name and now this is different. So so yes, basically we are able to delete the existing file and upload a new one. And obviously let's quickly try and see whether our create event is working properly or not. So Spider-Man homecoming, let's just upload this and see. Yep, everything is fine. So this is how we have handled the edit of our event uh with file upload as well i hope you like this video guys do share your thoughts and comments about the new functionality and yes if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to subscribe to my channel